Hey guys, today we're going to check out some handy tips for Windows Phone 7. Some of these might be familiar to you guys, while some of this might be useful for people who are new to Windows Phone 7. So first up is the calculator app. So, you know, this works as a normal calculator, but if you switch to landscape, this app will switch over to a scientific calculator. So that is tip number one. For tip number two, let's launch email yeah so once you are ready to tap in your email you if you want to add a blind carbon copy or set priority to your email you can hit this button here which brings up the priority list and blind carbon copy and carbon copy options tip number three it's for internet explorer so let's say you have your favorite website or in this case, I'm just going to one of my websites, which is bestwp7games.com. And if you want to pin this website onto your start screen, you can do that. With that option there, pin to start screen. Once the page is loaded, that should come up. So if you go in there now, you see that option. The best part is you can zoom in on any part of the web page. So I find it best to zoom into the logo And if you go and hit pin to start, you'll see that the image is taken from that zoomed in area. So which is quite handy. And when you are on a web page, if you want to search for a text, there is an option to do that from find a word on the page. And you can search for just about anything on there and that will highlight that text in yellow. So you've got, uh, you've got voice control on Windows Phone 7. You activate that feature by pressing and holding the Windows button on your phone. Start cocktail flow. You can use this to call people, launch application, and things like that. So I'll put some more information about this in the blog post. So this is a Cocktail Flow app, which is quite a beautiful app. And now let's check the next step. So you can use the voice control to switch to tune, uh, tune into different profiles. So you can put it to vibrate and ring. So when you're using your Windows Phone 7 and you're listening to an audio file, so say an audiobook or music, and if you want to quickly turn that off, you can hit the volume button that brings up the music controls, and you can pause it, go to the next chapter, go to the previous chapter, etc., using the volume controls on your phone. And when you're in your photo gallery, for example, this image is here. You can zoom in and zoom out of this, so which will bring all the pictures into view. So you've got a film strip kind of view to it. And you can zoom back in, which will bring up the individual images. So pinch to zoom controls to get in and out of this effect, which is quite handy if you've got a lot of images and want to quickly browse through them. And one of the great feature in Windows Phone 7 is the pocket to picture feature. So even if your device is in standby, so you've got the power off button, if you click on that, it goes into standby. You can use the camera button, press and hold that, and that will automatically go into the camera application. So you don't have to unlock your device or anything like that. And so this feature doesn't get activated if it's in your pocket. For example, once it's in your pocket, if you cover the sensors here, and if you try to launch the app, uh, camera app using this button, 
you'll see that it does not get launched. But if you take that off and try to hold that down again, you'll see that it'll launch into the camera app, which is a great feature to have if you take a lot of pictures on your device. And the next feature is kind of specific to just the Optus carrier in Australia. I'm not sure if this will work on the other carriers because the different carrier might use different codes for uh, disabling voicemail. So at times I find that there's no real way to control how long your ringer goes for before it goes into voicemail. So I just find it better to turn off voicemail altogether. So in my case, I just type in hash 61 hash and press call. And that will disable uh, voicemail for me. So those are our first 10 tips for Windows Phone 7. Do let us know what are your favorite features from Windows Phone 7 and some handy tips that you might have. And we'll try and include them in future videos. Thanks for watching.